as we reimagine what forests are from just a bunch of trees to this entire expansive living community and we reimagine what forest management is from just the management of those trees to how we manage this entire ecosystem and all of its pieces and parts it requires us to have a more expansive view of what it means to take care of this forest. The part that I've been really focusing on this spring is the birds. Spring is a really amazing time to think about birds, number one, because they're singing, so we can hear these distinctive songs, and number two, because we're receiving all of these neotropical migrating songbirds, some of which are migrating through and moving farther north, and some of which are gonna stay and breed here in Vermont. Learning to identify birds and to identify bird song is sort of like learning to identify different species of trees in the forest. So if you don't know what any of the different species of trees look like, you enter the forest and you just see trees. When you learn to identify what's a sugar maple, what's a yellow birch, what's a beech, suddenly it adds this level of richness because each one of those species is different. Each one of those means different things about the site that you're on. It means different things for the wildlife species that maybe are associated with those species of trees. It means different things about the history of the site that you're on. Similarly, if you don't know the different songs of the different birds, you enter the forest and you just hear bird song and it's beautiful. But when you start to say, oh, that's a red-breasted nuthatch and that's a downy woodpecker and that's a Phoebe and that's a tufted titmouse and that's a goldfinch and that's a, a ruby-crowned kinglet. Suddenly your experience of being in the woods and understanding both where you are and the type of habitat that your forest is offering is so much greater. Forest birds also tell us a story about the forest that we're in. Different species of birds use different habitats and so the presence or absence of certain species of birds can tell us that certain types of habitats are relatively underrepresented or relatively overrepresented in our local area. And that can help inform the kind of habitats that maybe we want to manage for. There are a couple different ways to learn to identify different species of birds and also bird song. The best way is to go out with a bird nerd, someone who knows birds and who can teach you how to identify the different species of birds and what their different songs sound like. The tool that I've been using as well is this. So I have an app on my smartphone that's called the Merlin Bird ID app. This app can identify birds pretty well based on bird song. So what I do is I take my coffee out first thing in the morning and I sit on my porch and I turn on the Merlin Bird ID app and it tells me what birds are singing. Starting this process of learning to identify different birds earlier in the season, like right now, is a really good idea for a couple of reasons. Earlier in the season, there are fewer birds that are singing and just a bird or two that are arriving every day or every couple of days. So it's a little bit easier to learn because instead of being inundated with a bunch of birds all at once, you have a chance to learn each species of bird individually. The second is that if you wanna go find a bird that's singing, this is a time of year when the trees don't have their leaves yet. So you have a much better chance of being able to spot one of those birds and to link that song up to what that bird actually looks like. As with so many parts of forest management and forest stewardship, I think one of the things that's so compelling about learning birds is it reminds us what we're doing all this stuff for. While doing things like cutting trees and killing invasives can be important tools for making the forest healthier, I'm not cutting the trees just to cut them. I'm not killing the invasives just to kill them. I'm doing all of these things to try and manifest a healthier forest, a forest that's full of plants and birds that has healthy functional ecology that is resilient and adaptive. That's what it's all about. It's not about what we're taking away. It's about what we're creating.